Hi, I'm going to give you a quick start overview of the competition analysis component of Market Samurai. And personally, this is a part of Market Samurai that I use on a regular basis and find very insightful. It gives you a, a very good look into the, the kind of work you're going to need to do in order to rank on a specific keyword. So let's jump in. We're going to start using our, uh, our dog training example and this is assuming that we've found some keywords and now we want to look at what the, the front page of Google is like, what our real competition is like in terms of what we're going to need to do to rank. So as we scroll down our list of prospective keywords, we see dog training DVD. Now these keywords again, they met our criteria of enough searches to be interested in and they looked like at a, at, a, at a high level the competition wasn't going to be too bad and they, they had some commercial value. People were spending good money in AdWords and, and we, that combined with traffic gave us good commercial value. So we see here one dog training DVD. Now this is interesting purely for the fact that if let's say we're an information marketer, that would, that would represent people looking to get potentially dog training DVDs. So we're going to have a further look at that and we'll do so by clicking on this little key icon next to the keyword. Now the key will bring up another tab. We've got one tab with dog training. It'll bring up a second tab for dog training DVD. So let's click on the key and it's going to take us straight into this second component down here, our SEO competition tab. Now if we didn't, we could simply click down this for any keyword that we look at. So we're in the SEO competition tab and we want to generate results in order to be able to see what our competition looks like for this given phrase. So what this has done, this has gone to Google and said, give me the front page of Google, tell me which um, which web pages are ranking on that, but tell me a bit more about them so I can assess the competition for those given keywords. So I'll, uh, I'll shut that down so we don't need to wait. The, uh, the, as we look at each of the tabs, the, each of the columns, the first column is DA. This stands for domain age. So this example here of Dog Whisperer DVD, this has a domain age of five years. Generally the older the domain, the more, the more challenging it is to compete. Secondly, this site has a page rank of, uh, of three uh, with, according to Google's page rank score. Now both of those squares have a yellow background, which means that in our assessment, they are middle of the road in terms of competition. They're, they're sort of a medium strength competition. If the, if the competition we deem to be, to be higher, um, we will set them with a red background, or if the competition we deem to be lower, we'll set them with a, with a, a yellow, uh, with, with a green background. So as we, as we move across, we can see that this site here has 808 links to that page itself and 973 links to anywhere in the site. To the, to, these are backlinks across the entire domain. So these are backlinks to the page, which in this case is a home page, um, and these are backlinks across the entire domain. Moving forward, we have the, the number of backlinks from educational or government sites. We, we can see whether or not this website is in the DMOS directory and in the Yahoo directory. Typically, we see a correlation between being in those directories and achieving uh, some degree of, of, of high ranking. So everything that we've discussed now are what we call the off-page factors. These are the things that happen outside of our website. These are how many other sites link to us, whether government sites link to us, whether we're in the DMOS directory, the Yahoo directory, what Google thinks of us by way of page rank, how old our site is. But if we look to the right-hand side, what we see here is that the, the title, the, uh, these four columns here are effectively our on-page factors. So title simply says that the word dog training DVD is in the title tag of this web page. URL says is, the dog, is, the, is our keyword dog training DVD in the URL. Now by that we also mean the, um, the, uh, the page name or the, the directory structure. And so here whilst dog and DVD are dog training DVD are not in the URL for that example so we get an N or a NO in that column. Finally is the word dog training DVD in our description? In this case for the first result yes it is but it is not in a heading tag. Uh, a heading tag for the technically um, oriented people watching is either in HTML it's either H1, H2 or H3. In essence what it means is they have not created a primary heading from Google's perspective around this phrase. And finally, the cache age when Google last took a look at the site. You may be thinking to yourself, as I look down this list, there is some competition here because we've got um, scores of uh, page ranks three and four. That's that's a, a, a degree of competition. And, and some of you may be watching with sites that have much higher authority and, and you could easily go here, but others may be weak authority and, and you may not be able to as easily compete. 
Um, the the every one of these pages has has links to it. You know, some of them hundreds, some of them you know um, less than a hundred, um, and and some of them getting authority from the links to the domain name. But none of them have got it perfect in terms of what we call the on-page factors, these four factors over here. None of them have got the title tag, the URL, the description, and the header tag all targeting dog training DVD. And so that might mean that it's going to take a little bit less effort. We don't need to be quite as strong as if, if, if we can get the, the on-page factors sorted out. Now there's a couple of other components in here that I think are, uh, are quite interesting. Firstly, let's say we are in this market but we're not ranking on the front page and we wish to compare our website. If we click add custom URL, we can go, uh, there's one. There's a result that forms, falls on the second page of Google that we can drop in here. And so uh, this website which is on the second page, we can see why it's probably on the second page. Um, we, uh, we can see it's got a, a page rank 2 so it's a little bit weaker than most of the results. Um, it's only got two backlinks to the page, it's, it's got a smaller number of backlinks overall, and the on-page factors aren't right. It's not in the title, the URL, the description, it's only in a heading tag. And so if that was our site, we could say, well, we can at least fix these on-page factors very easily, and maybe if we've done that, we might need to look at start building some more links to our site. One last trick, if I can show you, is that uh, the SEO uh, experts watching this may be screaming and saying, Ben, it's actually not just the number of links to your website, it's actually the quality of those links. And so what we can do is if we pick this little drop down arrow here, let's say for this example at position number six, it's got 22 backlinks to this page that's ranking in that slot. We can, uh, we can press the little drop down arrow and if we press the PR analysis, it's gonna take those 22 links and tell us a bit more about them. So if we click PR analysis, on the 22 links, it's telling us that 16 of them have, uh, are, are from sites with a zero page rank or pages with a zero page rank. Um, two of them are page rank one on page rank one. Um, two of those links come from pages with page rank two. And one of them is actually from a, a page with a page rank four and one with page rank three. So that's telling us that some of these links are from some authority sites or sites with a bit of authority, but most of them are from pretty low authority, weak sites. So we could then look at our own link building and say, well, what kind of links are we gonna need in order to compete in that space. In addition, you can also look at the, the text that people are linking back to your competitors on to see what the anchor text that people are using and that if people are linking on the words dog training DVD, that makes those links more valuable. If they're linking on click here or other random phrases that are unrelated, then it's, it's not quite as valuable. So I hope you'll see, if I, if I close this up, that looking at this grid is a really powerful way to analyze your results. What we'll often see is things like a grid where, um, uh, you know, in some markets you'll see a grid where not in, where none of the pages have any real on-page optimization. They haven't got the keyword in it, in the title, the URL, description, or the header tag, and and so you'll see a lot of green over here. But the pages themselves are strong, and, and often in those markets, what you sometimes see is is one exception, a result where one one listed result has, has got the on-page factors right, and it might be sitting at position, you know, six or something like that, and you'll say to yourself, great because we can do the same thing. We've seen one very weak website penetrate into the search results by getting the on-page factors right, and so that gives us some, some heart and some courage that, that this is a market that we can enter into. You'll also see scenarios where the top two or three results are, are, are really strong sites and then it, the, the strength really falls away, and what that means is that you might be able to easily get to position you know, number four, but positions one, two, and three, which is where you know, a, a major portion of the traffic comes from, are really locked out pretty tightly. So you, you can see that this grid starts to let you see the strength of the competition across the, 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 each of the, the uh, results on the front page of Google. I hope you find that useful. Personally, I use this very regularly and find it very insightful. So I encourage you to, to check it out and certainly check out the keywords that you're already targeting and see how you're competing against the other players in your market and, and the kind of work you're going to need to do in order to, uh, in order to rank. And don't forget that Market Samurai has some great modules to, uh, to, to help you find content you can post and to also help you with promotion and link building and we've got a whole bunch more coming out on that. So, uh, so stay tuned. Thanks very much.